Prostate cancer is one of the most common types of cancer in older men and we know that its incidence increases with age. Uh, in men with low risk disease, we know that it's quite safe to monitor the condition with, what, with what's called active surveillance. However, with more advanced disease that may potentially be life threatening, we know that treatment is often required. And there are several treatment options for prostate cancer. The first includes radiation therapy with either external beam radiation or brachytherapy or surgery. For older men, um, radiation therapy is a highly effective treatment that's very well established. Um, and it's often the treatment of choice for older men for a few reasons, in that it's very convenient, it avoids the need for um, any invasive surgery or general anaesthetic, treatment is painless and only takes a few minutes, and men don't need to be admitted to hospital. Um, What's even better is that there's been some incredible advances in the technology that we use to deliver radiation therapy over the last 10 years. So I often say to men in my prostate clinic, comparing radiation therapy to what we do today versus 10 years ago is like comparing a smartphone to a walkie-talkie. Um, with the emergence of technology such as um, intensity modulated radiation therapy, image guided radiotherapy and stereotactic radiotherapy, we're able to target prostate cancer with millimetre accuracy while safely avoiding the tissues around the prostate cancer such as the rectum and the bladder. And what this means for men is that we are able to treat the prostate cancer very, very effectively whilst um, avoiding any significant side effects. Um, and what it's also meant is that we've been able to significantly reduce the number of treatments that men need um, to have their prostate cancer cured. So for instance, in years gone by, men have needed to attend treatment for up to six or seven weeks every day. But we now know that um, a treatment course of only 20 daily treatments is just as effective with no increase in side effects. Um, and what's even more exciting is with the emergence of stereotactic body radiotherapy, um, there's mounting evidence to show that we can cure prostate cancer with as few as five treatments over two weeks. So for older men with prostate cancer, we as radiation oncologists have been able, are now able to offer them a treatment that's convenient, non-invasive, very well tolerated, and that improves overall survival. So also in the setting of metastatic prostate cancer, there's been some very exciting new evidence that's come out in recent times um, that shows that radiotherapy has a very important role in men with prostate cancer that's spread to other parts of the body. So in the recent STAMPEDE trial, which is a phase three um, multi-center randomized trial, um, we've um, found that men with metastatic prostate cancer that's called low volume metastatic prostate cancer, radiotherapy directed to the prostate itself can improve progression-free survival. Um, and the recent Sabre Comet trial has also shown that the use of stereotactic radiotherapy directed at sites of metastatic disease can improve progression-free survival. And what that means is that radiotherapy is now emerging as a really important modality in the treatment of metastatic prostate cancer. And for older men, that means that we can improve their disease outcomes while still maintaining good quality of life. So in the future for radiotherapy, I think our um, ability to um, image um, the prostate gland whilst we're treating it um, is becoming more and more exciting. We're integrating the use of MRI scanning into the planning and treatment of radiotherapy. And I think it's um, definitely um, a promising area because it will further increase our ability to see the cancer and to treat it with very high doses of radiation and avoid the tissues around it. And what that means for men is that their disease outcomes will be improved, but their side effects will be reduced. I think the take home message for people attending is that for older men with prostate cancer, um, radiation therapy really does present a, a fantastic treatment option um, that has a low side effect profile, is convenient and well tolerated and avoids the need for invasive surgery, a general anaesthetic or the need for long term hormone therapy.